to my channel. I know it has been a little minute. Your girl took a mini break just for my mental health sake, but I'm back. Today, I'm excited to give you a little update on my natural hair journey. I realize we haven't done one of those videos in a long time. I can't believe literally where are we at? I big chop 2017, so 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 22. At the end of this year, did I count that right? 2018, 2019, 2020, 21, 22, 23. Oh my gosh. So literally at the end of this year, it will be six years since I went natural, which means six years since some of you have been here. Because I know some of y'all have been here from the beginning, which is insane. I can't believe how quickly time has flown. Um, when I look back even to just like three years ago, the way I was doing my hair was completely different. And there are products that I have used in the past that have given me horrible results that I can use now with my new techniques, with my new regimen that are giving me amazing results that I'm really excited to share with you today. So we're gonna get into all of that little update. We're gonna chit chat about wash and go techniques and how I have really just nailed my technique in order to get a bomb wash and go every single time. Perfect mix of curl definition and volume that will also last you a full week. We're gonna get into all the details. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Oh my gosh, my hair and scalp are dying for a wash. So today, what day is this? It's bad because I don't even remember what day. I know it's been over a week since I have last washed my hair. So we are very, very, very much looking forward to this wash today. It's actually around that time that I need to do a detox. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by doing my favorite detox ever, the Bread Beauty Supply Mud Mask. Y'all have seen me use this like 500 times. Amazing. And I have been restocking this with my own money because I just love it so much. It gets the job done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm so ready for this detox. So I'm gonna be using kind of like a mix of some staple products like this detox mask, along with some newer products. I received PR from the Innate Life. I don't know if y'all have heard of them. This is their brush that looks like it has that flexi kind of detail, function, whatever you wanna call it. Um, love the color, it's giving aesthetic, and I just, I don't know, I was very curious when I saw this brush. So we're gonna try this with the detox. They also have a hair mask that we will be using a little bit later on as well. So, two words, pattern beauty. <laughs> y'all, okay, 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 okay. Let me give y'all the tea, right? If you know, you know. If you have been around, oh my God, by the way, this is amazing. That just kind of cleared right through my hair. I also love how wide it is because it gets more hair in there. Yes, okay. Yeah, so as I was saying, <laughs> Pattern Beauty. If you know, you know, if you've been around here, you know that since they have launched, I have not had many great experiences with their products. And I've been pretty vocal about that. Um, the first time I filmed a wash and go, I was excited at first and then my hair literally did not last through the night. <laughs> Honestly, we didn't even make it a full day one. And so of course that's upsetting. Nobody likes to wash their hair and it not last at all. Anyways, um, recently last year, I did decide to give the products a try again. You guys would have seen that as well, where I did a twist out and we had huge success. That was like my first time ever having major success with Pattern Beauty products. So with exploring a little more and having success with a twist out, Y'all know me, I'm a wash and go girl, right? This is what I do on the regular. So I was like, it would be really nice if I could actually have a successful wash and go. Dare I say, I had a majorly successful a few at this point because I was like, let me just try it off camera and see how it goes. I have officially been able to do a very highly, extremely exciting, successful wash and go with Pattern Beauty where my curls are popping and last me a full week. I'm gonna show you all the products that I'm using in order to get that. I'm so excited because I have wanted to love Pattern Beauty products for a long time and guess what now? Guess what? A lot has changed in my natural hair regimen, in the way that I take care of my hair. Since that video that I filmed where I did a wash and go and it just didn't last and I was really upset and I was just like, what is this? A lot has changed. Like for example, I have started using shampoos. I have stopped using cream stylers in my wash and goes. I just use gel only. Like all these little, little changes might seem really little, but they have made a massive 
massive difference in the way that my wash and goes come out, in the health of my hair in general. Like, it's been life changing for me. And looking back at that video, I'm like, that's why it was a flop. Not necessarily the products, but it was the way I was using the products, the products that I was like using with it, like the whole thing. When I look back at that video, I kind of cringe a little bit. So yeah, I just feel like that kind of made it super extra clear to me how important technique and routine, your regimen, your natural hair regimen in general, how important that is and how much that can actually affect the health of your hair and the results you get when you do your hair. It's not just, oh, you gotta use good products. You know what I mean? And the best part is all I've done is simplify my routine. I use way less products. I take way less time on wash days. And by simplifying, I get way better results and way more products work with my hair. This right here, actually detoxing my hair regularly is a huge part of my regimen. I never used to detox at all. Nowadays, of course, we do have these great detox masks that are already like pre-mixed and everything. So obviously it makes it super quick and easy for you to do. So detoxing regularly, making sure I'm using shampoo, cleansing properly, because I literally still can't believe I fell for that whole thing about only wash with conditioner. What was that? What was that? Why did we do that? Why I was literally terrified of shampoo. I was so terrified that shampoo was gonna dry my hair out. And it's ironic because my hair is more moisturized and healthier than ever by making sure that I am detoxing and cleansing properly on a regular basis. So detoxing and cleansing, obviously getting regular trims. That's something I've always done to make sure my ends are nice and healthy. And then just wash and go styling with no cream stylers. No cream stylers. I still love me a good cream styler for a twist out or braid out or anything like that. But when it comes to a wash and go, that is where I genuinely get my best results. It's just using products with holes. It doesn't necessarily need to be just one product because I like to kind of mix sometimes. I'll do like mousse and gel, which is what we're gonna do today. But yeah, overall simplicity has been huge for me. Absolutely huge. But yeah, with all that being said, I just feel like a lot of us focus on the product, product, product. I gotta make sure I find the best product for my hair. When I think it's actually more beneficial to figure out your regimen first, which I am here to help y'all out with, okay? Because this video is gonna have everything that I do in my current regimen to get these wash and goes on and popping, okay? From your wash and go queen. So boom, detox is finished. I am gonna go ahead and let this sit for about, I think this thing says 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes, gonna let this sit. I really want to get a good detox up in here. So I'm just gonna let that sit and then I will meet y'all back in the shower for the rest of this wash. Whew, do y'all see this length? That is crazy. Literally crazy. Sometimes I can't even believe how fast my own hair grows. I always get a lot of questions on that, like what's the secret? Honestly, I think majority genetics because my mom's hair is just like this as well. Too bad I'm getting ready to big chop again. Just kidding, just kidding. The plan is <laughs> to still grow it for now. I am enjoying a little extra length. I've been doing some cute little hairstyles on at the gram. So if you've missed those, go ahead and check those out. So I did say I was gonna be trying a couple new things today and this is one of them. So for cleansing, I'm gonna use this apple cider vinegar scalp and hair rinse by Miss Rizos. So I was excited to receive this in PR because I have never tried this brand before. Bianca Renee is constantly talking about how good these products are and I just have never received them and never gone out to buy them to try them either. So I'm excited to give this a try today. Following up after a mud mask, it's always important to either follow up with a rinse of some sort, shampoo, whatever, to make sure you're getting all of the mud fully cleansed out. So that's what we're gonna do with this. So literally it's, ooh, oh, it has like a little bit of a gel like a lightweight shampoo gel kind of consistency. I don't know why I expected it to be liquid, probably because the packaging. Okay, I like this. I'm curious to see if it's going to get sudsy, and from what I can tell, it is. The thing with cleansing products, I have tried some before that really don't work with my hair and they make my roots crazy frizzy. So we know that if my roots get frizzy, <laughs> it's gonna be because of this, but I don't think they will. I have high hopes in this product because Bianca definitely loves these. I do love the packaging and how easy it made it to get all of that very evenly dispersed throughout my whole scalp. 
Oh, it feels so good. I love that it gets sudsy, so I'm feeling like I'm getting a really nice extra deep cleanse after that detox as well. Great ingredients for the hair, amazing for cleansing, but also for like restoring your pH, balancing out the pH of your scalp and your hair. Love that. Normally I section my hair ooh, for cleansing, but I actually don't feel the need because the applicator made it so easy and nice to get everywhere. Okay. Y'all know I love me a good apple cider vinegar cleanser. So next, I'm actually gonna use another new product. This is a product from The Innate Life. This is their herbal hair mask. And I'm really excited to try this because The Innate Life is all about like using very natural, organic ingredients. The third ingredient on the ingredient list is shea butter. And my hair absolutely loves shea butter. I mean, loves it, drinks that stuff up. So this is gonna be really great to replenish a little bit of extra moisture and everything. Back to the hair after all that cleansing and detox. Ooh, so this is what it looks like. And I need y'all to get into these details. You can see like the black kind of specks in it. It's giving oh natural for sure. This is feeling very different <laughs> from any other product I have used in my hair before. And I actually can't tell whether or not I'm using it in the right way. So it says it is a once a week hair mask. And so directions are, okay, shake well before use, apply to dry or slightly damp hair, which I'm not doing. Saturate hair mask on the mid to ends of the hair. Leave in for a few hours or overnight and then wash hair as normal. So like, is this a pre-wash mask? Should I have done this? before shampoo or is this meant to be used after? I'm so confused and it feels a little weird. So I'm kind of like, I don't know if I should be using this. I, I don't know. I don't, I, mm. I do not need this wash coming out bad because I'm literally traveling in two days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down and then follow up with my ride or die fave. The Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask because this never leads me astray and I actually haven't done a protein wash in a while, so this will be good. All right, yes, Briogeo brought us right back on track. Um, I made sure to let it sit for a little bit while I did my body care, and then I fully rinsed it all out. <laughs> Can we have another round of applause for this length? I think mid-length might be my favorite. It's like not too long, it just But it still has some body, still has some shape, still a little fun, and it's just, Anyways, now it's time to get into the fun part, which is styling with Pattern Beauty once again. Um, but I can already tell you right now, spoiler alert, this is about to be so bomb. So these are the two stylers that I have been using off camera and absolutely love them. So first, y'all already know how I feel about a good mousse. We got to compare this to the Dew Mousse because that is still top dog, top notch, top favorite, right? But this mousse will probably be second place, like right behind it. It is actually really good. So it's moisturizing, it's curl defining, it's everything. It's got a little bit of hold in there, not as much hold as the Dew, which is why I don't put it on par with it, but it has everything else, plus a little bit of hold. It can take you, like using this by itself, can take you to around day three, day four, but past that, I think it would be, like it just didn't have enough hold in order to take you a full week like the Dew will. Which is why I like to pair with their Stronghold Gel just a little bit. I literally, probably like, Percentage wise, I would say I do roughly 60, no, let's call it 70% mousse and then a little 30% of gel on top to just slick it in and boom. And the good thing about that is whenever you're using mousse, your hair will still always dry faster. Even if you're using a little bit of a gel on top, my hair still dries really nice and quick. And this gives us a perfect combo that I just really love, like really and truly. So whenever I'm pairing a mousse with a gel to style my hair, I don't use as small sections. So this is gonna be like our first section. It's kind of just All right, so it's very funny because in that wash and go fail video with Pattern Beauty, I did actually use the Stronghold Gel. But the thing is, I had used the Stronghold Gel with a bunch 
of other products. I think back at that stage, I was still leaving a little bit of my mask in my hair. Then I was applying leave-in conditioner on top of that. And then I also applied another one of their gels, which is a cream style gel. That's like literally three layers before you can even get to the good stronghold stuff. That stronghold stuff is literally just sitting right on top of the hair. And that's why it would never be effective. And this is why I'm saying like technique, technique, technique. It is literally so important. So um, definitely fully rinsing out my mask before this, like fully. I mean, I rinse it out in sections and everything. That is also a huge part of my wash and go regimen as well. Cause I like to style with super fresh, freshly moisturized hair. And when I say moisturize, my hair is moisturized from the water. Ain't no going back. I'm just going through and kind of just separating my curls a little bit. With mousse, that's the only thing your curls can tend to get clumped, which is a good thing because that's curl definition. But if they're like overly clumped, like you don't want just like a big clump of like a big fat curl, like clump together curl, you know what I mean? So I like to just spend a little extra time to make sure I'm separating as necessary. But I'm literally just gonna use about this much of the gel. And literally I'm just gonna comb it through just like this. I'm using that amount of gel for this entire section. And that's it, this is how I like to style my hair. When I tell y'all simple is better, having to apply three to four, sometimes even five products for a wash and go is just not it. This is also what I mean by when I'm like, cause a lot of you always ask me like, what do you do to maintain your curls? And like, how do you like deal with your hair throughout the week? And all of my A Week With My Hair videos, y'all will see I do very, 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 very little to my hair throughout the week. And that's because I spend the time on wash day to make sure we are popping enough to last us through the week. Cause I'm not trying to be messing with my hair too much during the week, unless I want to do like a special hairstyle or something that's different. But if I just want to wear my hair out, I want it to be able to be on and popping if I need to do a little bit of smoothing with mousse, I will. But other than that, I don't wanna do anything else for a week, for a week minimum. Okay, boom, this is how we're looking. This is how I style my hair for the bangs. Isn't it so crazy that literally my bangs go from here all the way to here? like that much shrinkage, wild. So that's basically it for my styling technique. The last thing we need to do is go ahead and diffuse it. We should be, like I said, dry and nice and quickly if I didn't use too much gel. And that is it. I'm so excited to show y'all these results. So this is how we're looking right after, like freshly right after diffusing. Where are we at? Maybe like 75 to 80% dry. It's not like dripping at all or anything. We're almost there, but not fully there yet, which is why it looks a little crazy. Also, you can kind of tell my hair is definitely due for a trim because things are just growing like crazy all over. But yeah, just a quick little check-in of how we're looking now. I think what I'll do is probably just check back in with y'all tomorrow so y'all can get the full day two effect. All right, y'all, day two. Final results. Get into it. Are y'all seeing this? It's like such a good mix, like I was saying, of curl definition and volume. We've got a little bit of shine up in here as well. I still feel a little bit of a crunch too, which tells me that this is gonna last us a whole week. I mean, like I said, I've done this wash multiple times off camera before, so I already know that it'll last me a full week, but the crunch is here once again, which will again always tell you, she's gonna last, baby. And I love that. The only thing, I'm like looking around at my hair right now and I'm just like, your girl's gonna need a trim. Cause it's looking a little in some areas and I don't know, is, did I like, the shape is obviously kind of like outgrowing. Do I need to grow it more first to then properly shape it as it grows? Or do I kind of shape it from now, I don't know. Like look, it, you can just see that it's just straggly, it's all over the place. I'm actually, I was talking to Juliana and Casey and they both do trims with their hair blown out and I've literally never done that. I've only ever done curly hair trims. You know me, I always like to try everything at least once, you know, find out how it works for me, how I like it. So I might see 
if that's something that maybe we can explore for the next trim, I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, that is basically it for this wash. These are the final results. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Bottom line, technique, technique, technique. Your regimen, your, your routine for your hair is literally everything. Once you've got that down pat, the products you already have will work way better for you, clearly, because Fatter Beauty did not do this for my hair before. Okay? Hey okay, guys, that is about to be it for this video. If you have any additional questions for me on routine, regimens, products, whatever it may be, comment below. I will meet you there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!